Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers? The Call of Duty drama has been nuclear these past few days because apparently Swag was caught allegedly cheating the other day and he got banned uh, as well, right? He was put in a shadow ban lobby. And then on stream, he called Activision and he asked why he's not on the Diddy list though! Yay! Uh, essentially, the Diddy list is like the white list for Activision. So on stream, he was asking about the white list, which made a lot of people like look like like this okay so the call of duty community is out there for blood right now the call of duty's community like like hey bro que pasa que pasa like what do you mean by whitelist do you talk are you talking about the daily list guys we're gonna get right into it like the video if you love your mama like the video if you like to not get killed by cheaters dislike the video if you love getting killed by cheaters in your multiplayer games i want to know where you guys at shout out to the homie call of shame roll it with for days ago i reported how the nuke squad were banned by the ricochet anti-cheat for cheating in black ops 6. Uh, I was uh. hopeful what we would see next was a fair and honest review of their account, in which the streamers would be finally held accountable and punished for their devilish ways. Yeah. But that was wishful thinking. Mm. Because even though the Ricochet anti cheat found something wrong, Activision representatives for the Call of Duty Creator program simply unbanned the account with no questions asked. Swag was allowed to simply pick up the phone and call Activision directly. For context, for context, apparently the other day Swag was uh, put in a shadow ban lobby because the algorithm in Call of Duty thought that he was cheating. Now that's on the algorithm. Whether he was cheating or not, I, I, I don't know, man. That's up to you. That's up to the algorithm. That's up to the actors and gods out there. But apparently that's what happened. And then he made a response video too. And I want to just play you a little clip. Roll it. The title is true. I did get shadow banned. But let me explain. So when Black Ops 6 launched, Call of Duty hosted the race to Master Prestige. Now, yeah. me and my group, New Squad, actually participated in this. And we were required by Activision to have a separate account. I couldn't use my own personal one. We had to have our own separate New Squad account. As I'm going to show you guys right here, we are second in the world right now, currently in the race to level 1,000, which is actually insane. So when we queue into a lobbies, a lot of people think we're cheating because simply we're at level 370 and they just think that's not possible with the game only being out two weeks. I get it. We have no lives. Last night, the account actually got shadow banned and I, I did see one comment so on this one he's not wrong i did see one comment where one guy said that hey how is he like level 300 he's cheating <laughs> that's not cheating right be because like the game once you are a master prestige in the game then you can be level 300 400 it goes up to like level 1000 that's not cheating but he should have been addressing or talking about something else but it seems like that he did not or let's find out and the gameplay that actually got me shadow banned was just insane and i kind of get why people spam reported me i get it mm. what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna push through yeah i'm gonna push through on free lick free lick free lick free lick free lick or three lick free lick bruh bruh lick she did got you, pushed through was textbook no did he or pushed through was textbook my, I, I don't know if I'm gonna do it again. They're watching it. He's not watching it. Because of that gameplay, we got shadow banned. So that's when I made a couple of tweets to Activision and messaged couple people saying, "Yo, can you guys get us on shadow ban? This doesn't make any sense." So yeah, you heard him from from him, right? So you saw the gameplay and the lobby, and he was playing against like bots. That's what it felt like, right? Of course, sometimes you can genuinely get a lobby like this where it's not just it's not bots, but it feels like it's bots, right? Sometimes you can get a lobby like that, but. Uh, Apparently he gets a lot of these types of lobbies and a lot of people are assuming that he likes to uh, two box Which means he loves to He once said that he never even heard of a radar hack, right? So it feels like that he was two boxing I if you want to consider that cheating hey go for it if you don't if you don't think that's cheating Well go for it, right? Officially Activision says that that's cheating So it feels like that he was doing that and then he was put in like a shadow ban lobby or something like that Or maybe he actually did use aimbot which I have no data for it uh, And I'm not accusing him for doing aimbot I believe he was like two boxing and he was finding easier lobbies, right? And therefore, he was put in a shadow ban lobby because the algorithm d detected that hey, like, wait, whoa, whoa, like, tranquilo, right? Like, you're you're actually killing everybody in the game. But and when I try to queue into another game after the shadow ban, this is the type of lobby I got instantly. Am I shadow chat? This is about to be the sweatiest game of our lives for no mm, reason. You heard it. You heard it. So right as they got into the lobby, they were like, oh, this is going to be the sweatiest lobby because they detected that, yo, this feels kind of different. It's like that Tyrese Gibson situation, right? In Fast and Furious 8, when Tyrese Gibson says that, hey, man, I ain't built for this weather, man. 
when they go in like uh, winter, I believe in Russia, right? Like where, where it's snow, right? So Tyree is like, bro, like I'm not built for this weather. And I feel you, homie. You're not built for these lobbies. You've been like, tick, 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 like left and right, left and right, right? Damn. So when you are put in a real lobby, on your skill level with the skill based match freaking first of all i'm against skill based match freaking like the video if you don't like skill based match freaking in public matches in rank play it's it's awesome but in public hell no okay like the video if you're against that dislike the video if you love skill based match freaking but oh this is a hacker uh, lobby wait 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 yeah, we're shadowed we're shadowed we're sh wait who shadowed <laughs> yeah they're cheating yeah wait wait somebody so, somebody shadowed somebody shadowed I, I checked. So you know, I was shadow banned because simply uh, it took 20 minutes to find a match, and there was hackers in it. Yeah, they're cheating. Can I get a free swag spam in the chat? Also, drop 5,000 likes, man. If you want Activision to fix the shadow ban loop, I know a lot of people watching this video are in the shadow ban loop and just often get shadow banned a lot. All this happened live, and if you guys want to check it out, make sure you check out my Twitch. Link's gonna be at the top of the description. Twitch.tv slash. A lot of people are in the shadow. Hold up. Wait a minute. Some ain't right. Now let's get back to present day. I'll roll it. Representatives for the Call of Duty Creator Program simply unbanned the account. Division thinking. Because even though the Ricochet anti cheat found something wrong, Activision representatives for the Call of Duty Creator Program simply unbanned the account mm. with no questions asked. Yeah. Swag was allowed to simply pick up the phone and call Activision directly and have his account added to the Diddy list. <laughs> I mean the whitelist, yeah. <laughs> but it's basically the same thing, minus the child sacrifices and blood drinking. The streamers simply substitute adrenochrome for energy drinks. Let's watch Swag bypass the ricochet anti-cheat with one simple phone Damn. call, That's and crazy, this is unacceptable. Right? That is Swag crazy. will now refer to the button, which means Activision. <laughs> no, no, the <laughs> got shadowed. No. Yo. I, no. He was like literally like like that, you know? You know, he was shown that the, the phone is like, no, what? Say what? Say psych right now. And then he picked up his phone and called up Activision. And he's like, yo, bro, like, I thought you guys had me on the Diddy list, though. What? You guys removed me? It's crazy. So then he asked to be on the Diddy list. And looks like that they unbanned him and all his problems are solved. <laughs> Yeah, and then, then the community, right now the community is like this, and the community is like, hey bro, like, <laughs> por que? Like, que pasa, man? You suck is gonna have a whitelist for streamers, but not for us? What? Say psych right now! And I understand, right? Like, different guys, different people, different treatment. Simple as that. Different people, different treatment. Oh! Red knocked in one game. So he's like calling Activision right now. <laughs> Fucking way, bro! No hey, way! You better, call. You better call. <laughs> Look, I, I watched him pick up the phone on the stream. He's already, he's already doing it. I'm already making the boss call. I will say I can go at the the button and see if. I, 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 no, no bullshit. At the yeah, button. At the button. At the button. I got. Oh, what's our gamer? What's our thing? Yeah, getting the the profile and all that. He's gonna send. Yeah, new squad. So. You see, like, Nuke Squad right there, their number, so he's gonna, like, he's definitely putting in the texture to tell Activision, yo, man, like, put me on the Diddy list, man. That's the account you guys gotta put on the Diddy list. <laughs> Not, like, Nuke Squad, uh, 1000, whatever. It's exactly this, which I don't exactly know the number off, but, uh, he's making sure that they don't put, like, another Joe Blow or Slow Mo Flow Antonio on their list, right? The he wants the real Nuke Squad to be on the Diddy list, so. Yes, bro. No, did he? No, did he? We don't have stream mode on this shit. Yeah. Let's see if somebody just spam for you. I mean, think about yeah. how, how long it had, had to be that dreadnought game. Like, top yeah. Yeah. There were like yeah. three games in a row. He dropped three dreadnoughts in a yeah. row. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, think about it. We got so many hours. No band so detected. detected. I'm clear. Hey, fuck it. I'm hitting up four people right now that I know I need to hit up. Around no 16 detected? minutes later, Swag was unbanned and joined a bot lobby to continue as before. No questions asked. The account is. Uh, okay, this is how I suspect though. So 16 minutes later, he got unbanned. This gameplay seems like the the same gameplay. Yeah, this one. What? I thought this was like before the ban. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, run that again. So Call of Shame is saying this gameplay is after. 
So after he got unbanned and then he started playing against like bots and you know bot lobbies essentially Allegedly that's what it feels like perhaps not a bot lobby, but that's what it feels like right, but in the original swag uh, response video, he was uh, saying that this was before. Okay, now I'm kind of confused. So who's lying? Uh, is it Call of Shame or is it swag? Let, let's play it for a second. Or maybe same map but different lobby. Could be that. So yeah, so uh, apparently swag claimed that because of this match, he perhaps was put in a shadow band lobby where the algorithm thought he was cheating, right? A am I getting that right? Hard to say because we don't have the full gameplay to compare to. So Swag showed this moment here. So Swag showed this moment, right? And this was, according to Swag, this was before he got put in the Shadow Band lobby. Now, Call of Shame is claiming that this was after he got unbanned. If uh, you're getting that, if uh, we're on the same page here. Just so we're on the same page, I gotta right say that. Now that I know I need to Let's see. Around 16 minutes later, Swag was unbanned and joined a bot lobby to continue as before. No questions Damn. asked. Damn. The account is now whitelisted, and the Ricochet anti cheat will not bother them again. This is why. Okay, 128 winning, 81 loss. Uh, what about this here when he was playing here? Uh, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, what about this one? Okay, 88 61. Sheesh. Okay, seems like it's the same match. Say, it seems like it's the same match, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Still uh, not 100% concrete, but C flag, B flag. BC, yeah, okay, so domination, right? So same match, same map, same gun. Mm, but it's still, I, I cannot say it 100% definitively because what if this is like a another match so happens to be domination on the same map and he's using the same gun? Can happen. Sometimes I play the the same uh, map as well and uh, same with the same weapon. Can happen. Can happen. But but it's odd. It is odd. It is odd. Having an in-house anti-cheat owned by the publisher is disgraceful. I am unsure which of the streamers were getting the Little League lobbies, but nobody was shooting back. An answer. They don't got an answer! <laughs> Bruh. So he's now on the dinner list. Okay. They can't figure out an answer. Oh my. Okay. Okay, brother, getting dopamine. I never even heard of a radar head. Three guys up top. Let me ask you: Are these your lobbies? I have not played on the same team as these streamers, as yeah. I am heterosexual. Uh, yeah. Now, to be fair, though, like I am lucky. To go on like five or seven kill streak nowadays. <laughs> now I'm not claiming to be the best player. I'm not claiming that I'm like the trash ass player. I would say I'm average. I'm below, sometimes above average. I'm like an average, I'm decent. I would say I'm decent. But with skill based matchmaking, you do not know like how good of a player you are. Uh, I would say in terms of like my lobbies, I just play when I'm listening to podcasts or you uh, watching YouTube videos or catching up on YouTube videos. So I, I don't play i don't play call of duty in try hard mode nowadays i just play it without listening to the game audio i'm playing the objective running around getting kills this and that right it's like mo mo most more often than not i'm getting one kill one death one kill one death it's like that for me right sometimes two kills one death and sometimes if i'm lucky four kills i would get a uav i would call in the uav guys come on now man like i'm not talking about this Fairly not talking about this friendly UAV online. I'm talking about the UAV that that you would call in the game. Come on, Bruh. man. Come on, guys. Like damn, man. Damn. So yeah, I would get the UAV and then I would just peace out, right? That that's kind of like my my thing. But homie's getting like triple nukes out there. <laughs> okay, not necessarily swag here, but there was a streamer that uh, you know was called out by Scump, and Scump was saying that there's a streamer, a YouTuber that would play games, would get triple nuclear, and you know rub it in on his viewers, be like, hey, look at me, three triple.
triple nuclear bitches you know all that and i'm like damn bro triple nukes you kidding me and then the chat and the co uh, the comment section is praising the comment section is like hey man slow your rolls poppy or in fact not even slow your rolls keep on killing it poppy there you go amazing hey what's your class setup like tell us what weapon what attachments you're using triple nuclear Damn. so that's like people are praising meanwhile they don't realize it's not the weapon or the attachments it's that that sucker cheating that sucker cheating though that's what's going on right now guys real quick though if you have twitter x instagram i would definitely let you have you there links are always in the pinned comment all right let's get back to the content here boo -boo. your lobbies i have not played on the same team as these streamers as i am heterosexual so call of duty hate me and that's okay but from what I can see, this is not skill-based matchmaking for an account with this level. Absolutely. I decided to reach out to Swag. Absolutely. A skill-based skill, a skill -based matchmaking would absolutely annihilate him. I, 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 yeah, on that level, it would annihilate him. For some answers, but the Nuke Squad House were not accepting calls. So I called them directly instead. Hello? Did you think you could hide from me on an Xbox? <laughs> you got the wrong number, dude. Oh, no, I don't. Guys, check out this video on the screen. He recently got caught cheating as well. The Call of Duty cheating scene is chalked. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.